My name is Valentino Valdez. Hi, my name is Kiara Lomax. I'm Victor J. Lopez. My name is Antonio Felipe. My name is Brittany Thurston. My name is Jennifer Hernandez. And my, like, ninth grade and 10th grade, uh, we weren't really doing anything, and I was realizing that I didn't learn any new vocabulary. It's, it was, like, boring. Because I kind of wanted to meet new people. So I thought it would be smart to take an AP class if I like writing so much. I was recommended by one of my previous teachers um, for Global, and my guidance counselor recommended it to me. I honestly wanted to challenge myself to see if I could actually do the work that was given. The beginning, when I first started. Alright, so in the beginning of the year. The first essay that I did, I thought I did mad good on. And I got like a 60 on it. It seems so simple what you're learning, but once it comes to like taking the, the exam, it's like like a little bit nerve-wracking. You're starting to forget everything. Oh no, I really had to like, a, like adapt to the like what it took to be an AP. Once I actually started doing good on my quizzes and homework, I actually felt pretty good that I could actually do the work. It's not that hard. It, you just gotta stay on top of your stuff. You just gotta keep doing it. You stay on top of your homework and everything and study a lot. There's a reason you're supposed to take only three, no more than that. And I, I recommend don't overstress yourself with it. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, so you might as well just take it. Just take what you're confident and you feel like you can manage yourself at the same time. Yeah, because I'm able to keep up with the work and everything. We have college essays to do, writing about ourselves, and this AP English class, it actually can really help me in being able to express myself. It's helped me with teaching me how to write like I'm in college and take notes and know that I can't really take pictures all the time because I don't feel like writing. I want to um, study psychology in college, so it helped me advance in things that I never knew that I thought I would be interested in. And that way I can actually really let colleges know actually who I am as a person. Considering the benefits AP English has to offer, I would assume so. I think it was a good experience. It kept me like humble in a way and realized that there's actually things you don't know even though you feel like you're doing good in, in a classroom. I like to write so I'm happy I took it this year and it's Helping me structure my writing better and focus more on that. Now I'm actually better in English than Spanish, which is the irony there. Well, for the student, one of the benefits would be that they get to take a college level course at the high school level. So they learn better how to manage their time, how to study for big exams, and really just to sort of know what to expect um, coursework wise and content wise um, from a college level course. Um, students who score well on the AP exam have the opportunity to earn college credit depending on the college and what score they get at the, on the AP exam. So it's a good opportunity for high school students to sort of see, you know, if they want to uh, pursue something in that major as well, right? So if they take an AP biology class and they really enjoy it, it might, um, you know, indicate to them that they, that's their strength and they might want to pursue more courses in that area. When we talk to college admissions representatives, they tell us that they look at the rigor of, of the programming that the students take while they're in high school. So taking college now and advanced placement classes um, help students with their um, GPA. The classes are rated heavier here at Francis Lewis. They see that a student is trying to take the most academically challenging course load possible. So it is looked upon favorably at the college level.